After spending hundreds of hours researching and experimenting with AI, I realized how we've only been scratching the surface of its potential. So, in this video, I'm sharing the best prompts and workflows I've been using for overcoming information overwhelm, extracting insights from my highlights, and making profound connections to other ideas and existing notes. I was going to charge money for this since AI is skyrocketing in virality, but you can get all of these ready-to-use prompts for free in the description below. As a bonus, you'll get example use cases and extra prompts for applying the information you learn into creating content and starting projects. And lastly, this is the second video of a three-part series on how I use AI in my second brain. If you haven't already, I recommend watching the first video on how to set up ChatGPT and personalized AI inside Obsidian so you can follow along with me. Anyways, without any further ado, let's look at how AI can help us at the start of the knowledge management process. Capturing information. There's an infinite amount of content to consume, but a limited amount of time. We need to find a way of filtering out what is irrelevant or just shallow clickbait. And to do this, we can use AI to make a summary of the content to see if it's worth consuming in the first place. I use this the most when considering watching a YouTube video that's more story-based since it might be more entertainment and fluff than useful information. So while watching a YouTube video on my computer, I can go click on the three dots and show the transcript to copy the content. Then using ChatGPT, we can use the following prompt. Provide a very detailed and complete summary of the content below as a list of key takeaways. Format the list with dashes. After pasting the content of the script, we'll get a list of the main ideas talked about. Now, instead of going off of the vague video title on whether I should watch it or not, I now have a more holistic view that bypasses any potential clickbait. Turns out, I am interested to see what he has to say about things like living a life that is difficult to explain and the concept of the self. But at the same time, there's some irrelevant things like sponsorships and product placements. Because of this, it's important to recognize that for any of these prompts, feel free to customize it to your own needs. In this case, we could have added an extra line in the prompt to make it exclude sponsorships or advertisements. So this way of summarizing your notes is pretty handy for generic understanding, but sometimes we may want to know how relevant it is for specific goals or interests. Whether it be the main question in your mind as you clicked on the video, or something you're working on towards in your life, you can include it in the prompt to filter out the key takeaways it gives you. My objective. I am working on finding out how to live a meaningful and fulfilling life. This means living a life that is difficult to explain and the concept of the self. ChatGPT will then narrow down the content based on your criteria, and from there, you can see if there's anything you want to further dive into. But, of course, not everything is done for the sake of action, and sometimes we just want to nurture our curiosity for certain topics or questions. And so, we can find its relevance by filtering it through your interests, which in my case are my 12 favorite problems. These are open-ended questions that you're most curious about and want to find relevant ideas or answers for. So, in ChatGPT, we can say, I'm going to give you my 12 favorite problems, the questions that I'm interested in learning and answering from the content I consume. You are filtering whether this content is relevant to these 12 favorite problems. If there is absolutely no relevance for a problem, only mention no direct relevance under the problem. After giving you my 12 favorite problems, prompt me for the content to analyze. For each problem I give you, explain which ideas in the content are most relevant in bullet point form. Here's an example format, and here are my 12 favorite problems. I separated the content into the next message since the prompt and the questions are already a lot of text and there might not have been enough space for it. And thanks to the detailed prompt, this works surprisingly well. What I really like about this is how ChatGPT uses the presentation style and stories of the YouTuber to answer my content creation related questions. Now that's next level. The only complaint I have though is the incompatibility with my investments question since the sponsorships will always be the answer. Anyways, now that we filtered out irrelevant content, it's time to start consuming and highlighting. Part of the problem of consuming content is making sense of new ideas. Instead of trying to reread the text or googling the term just to find even more complicated descriptions, we can harness the personalization power of AI. 
When I don't understand something, I can just ask it to explain the paragraph or idea to me from a different perspective. A while ago, I was learning about mental models and systems thinking, but was confused about how they were different. So, with over 15,000 hours in games, I asked it to explain as if I was a gamer. They explained each term in gamer words that went on to compare their differences. And I hate to say it, but the explanation made much more sense than the normal one. Since I'm using ChatGPT, if I needed any further explanation, I could have continued to ask it questions until I understood. Aside from an identity of yours, you can also just change the way it explains, whether it be to a 5 year old, to your specific use case, or from first principles. And so, with the power of the internet as your personal tutor, you'll be able to finish with a set of highlights that personally resonate with you. But sometimes, you take notes in a certain format, but then want to change it to something easier to work with. In my case, the highlights I make from video transcripts in ReadRise Reader have weird spacing issues and no punctuation, so I want to fix that. Thankfully, we can use AI as our formatting slave. I am about to give you raw highlights from a transcript of a video. Can you please clean the formatting of these highlights by improving punctuation and grammar while keeping the view highlight link for each highlight? Here are the highlights. And of course, you can change the prompt. If you use voice to text note taking, you can ask it to add grammar and maybe summarize the content a bit, just so things aren't really repeated. And if you use bullet points, you can ask it to turn it into complete sentences. Now that we're done consuming content, it's time to process our highlights into more permanent and conceptual notes we can add into our notes. The next part of the note taking process is to create new notes from our highlights on the different ideas and concepts. But there's just one problem. If you've just finished a long book or take too much highlights like I do, it might feel overwhelming to process everything all at once and turn them into conceptual notes. Sometimes it's helpful to start with less and then add more as we need. And we can come up with where to start through the power of summarization. In my case, I'm trying to summarize my highlights from an article I read on a type of meditation practice called non-dual mindfulness. When using ChatGPT, we can first get a general summary of the key takeaways as we already have been doing. And second, we can ask for the general topics and themes of the content. Here are highlights I took. Please list out the different topics or themes in bullet points and subtopics in nested bullet points that the highlights are comprised of so I can do further research into them. You can also use them in combination to have a super summary you can ask it to use the higher order themes in the second prompt and get it to organize its key takeaways from the first prompt under them. We can do this by asking, hey, can you organize the key takeaways you first found under their respective topics and themes? As you can see, it did a pretty good job. If you feel like the summary isn't doing the highlights justice, you can always be more specific on what you want to focus on. Alternatively, you can also do your own manual summarizing, then ask it to format it for you. We can follow Tiago Forte's progressive summarization technique and do another read-through of our highlights, bolding no more than 20% of the existing text. Then, we can ask AI to only extract the bolded parts. For this article I read on a three-part daily routine for maximum productivity, it was able to extract my bolded headers and key terms. You can already use these summarized topics and ideas as the notes themselves, but if you still need more help, here's some more suggestions for creating conceptual notes. Just a reminder to use ChatGPT's answers as suggestions. Making these conceptual notes are a fundamental part of the learning process, so just blindly following the AI's responses can diminish the personality of your notes and your overall critical thinking. If you're unsure on what kind of notes we can make out of our highlights, we can ask ChatGPT to group our highlights based on potential note titles. Please list out the title of the Zettelkasten conceptual notes I can make based on these highlights. They should be atomic, creative, and connectable to other conceptual notes. Under each conceptual note, list out the highlights related to it. Here is an example, and here are my highlights. If we use my article on non-duality, it ended up just doing one highlight per note title, but it unearthed some important new topics, like the duality of self and other, the purpose of non-dual meditation, which is transcending these dualities, and perceiving time as an eternal moment. But I just have one problem. I have an already existing note on self-actualization, and I want these highlights to be turned into notes that can be connected to this one idea. 
it's time to ask AI again for help. Interpret all instances of concept node as self-actualization. I'm turning highlights I saved into Zettelkasten conceptual nodes and want to creatively connect them to the following concept node. Here are the contents inside of the node. For each important highlight, come up with a title for the new note related to this concept note, a copy of the highlight you are referencing, and specifically explain how it relates to the content inside concept note. Here is an example format, and here are the highlights. Instead of just having to add the name of the note every place I wanted it, I just made it refer to the variable at the start. When using the prompt yourself, just be sure to replace self-actualization into your own note. Anyways, by asking for its explanation, we can understand its thought process and see if it personally makes sense to us. Don't just blindly agree with its suggestions. Use it as a co-pilot for your own decisions. By now, we've extracted the important ideas and pasted them into conceptual notes ready to be connected. To let our knowledge grow into a web of strongly connected ideas, we need to learn how to relate our new notes to our already existing ones. Unfortunately, this is easier said than done. Sometimes, you're trying to find notes related to a broad concept but have not been using a consistent term or phrase to describe it, which prevents you from using basic keyword search. Or maybe you struggle to find similarities with existing notes in your vault and just don't know where to start. It's okay. Using AI, we can find the most relevant ideas and notes, no matter how long ago we took them, using the Smart Connections plugin to do so. So, inspired by the AI suggestion on creating a note on the duality of self and other, I decided to create one for the non-duality of the self and other, since that's the idea I want to focus on more. So I just added the quote that it recommended as well, and I decided to combine it with another idea on how adopting this mindset can help us overcome more intense emotions that may control us, like fear and worries. So now, if I wanted to find smart connections inside my vault, I can go to the sidebar, and I can open up the Smart Connections Files pane. And let me just expand this a bit so you can see better. The main suggestions are just ones from a book I read called Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself, which also uses meditation as a way of changing your identity and yourself. Although this one isn't necessarily the same, since it is more about becoming your ideal self rather than becoming one with the universe. But yeah. If you wanted to instead just find connections to a specific part of the note, you can just copy it and then go to search and then paste the content. So now we actually do see this note as potential connections to this text, which makes sense. We see advice on journaling to cope help with anxiety, just another means of trying to overcome these intense emotions, how to calm the anxious brain. And there's also this note on taking a broader perspective, which is a stoic practice to overcome these emotions as well. I just find it cool how despite it being in a note on anger, it is still able to make this connection because of the content inside of the header. Unfortunately, these connections are limited to what's already inside our notes. What if we wanted to create a bridge between two existing notes or come up with a different type of connection to make? In my case, I want to connect two notes, non-dual mindfulness and meditation together, but the connection between them is too broad. What are some additional notes I can create in between them for more seamless linking? I like the mindfulness practices one since it provides hierarchical structure. I personally don't think it warrants a separate note for now, so I'm just going to make it a header in my meditation note and include the link under it. In our prompts, we need to also consider the different types of links we can make. I like Fei Ling Seng's Idea Compass Framework, where each direction is a type of link you can make from a note. North links try to find the source or parent of the note. West links find similar notes. East links are for transformation, for finding contrasting ideas and challenging the note. And South links are for what this causes. And so, we can feed this framework alongside the note we are making to brainstorm potential links. I am writing a note title called Note Title and want to use the Idea Compass methodology to find new ideas to connect it to. The Idea Compass is as follows. Blah 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 blah. Imagine you're linking to other similar Wikipedia style articles that focus on one main idea. These articles should also be broad and brief in title. What are some possible North links you can make? Explain your reason of choice for each link. With these new potential links, you can continue on your journey of learning and note making. 
So, what are you waiting for? Start using the prompts for free in the description below. If you need inspiration on how to start using these prompts and practices in your own workflows, you can watch the next video on how I used AI while taking book notes. But if you're watching this early and the video isn't up yet, be sure to like and subscribe to stay tuned. You can keep up to date on any new things I learn or do in my weekly newsletter, which I'll have links to the new notes I upload on my published second brain. This has been John Maverick. Stay mindful.